My name is John Ritchie. Ever since I fell on my head, I've been seeing ghosts. I decided to venture out in the world to capture these sightings on film. I'm joined by professional psychic, Brandon Bigheart. I'm feeling something. Oh my god. These experiences are unique and terrifying. What's that, what's that oh over there? Oh my god. Together we uncover these mysteries and never back down from an encounter with the supernatural. The show that you will fear the most. Toast those ghosts. On this episode, we will be investigating Stillwater High School home of the famous Pioneer Spirit Stick. The locals here say that they have witnessed paranormal activity. We will find those ghosts and we will toast those ghosts. If, if we pay taxes every week, then shouldn't... Welcome back to Toast Those Ghosts. We are about to set up for the lock-in at Stillwater High School in hopes that we will encounter some spirits. Before we began the investigation, I decided to meet with the school's night shift janitor, Daryl Morell. Daryl has worked at the school for several decades and he claims to have witnessed paranormal activity. During my night adventures, scrubbing the toilets and picking the gum off the desks. When I was in 201, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. While I was scrubbing the gum, I saw a big, big, burly looking man. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Morell. It's always a pleasure. All right, let's go on. All right, I'm filming. Dude. This right here is the uh, ghost toaster. It's recording. At nightfall, we will begin the investigation and we will toast those ghosts. The investigation is up next on Toast Those Ghosts. Hi, my name is Clyde and I own Clyde's Camo Emporium. Come on down to my shop and you can get your free Camo shirts, camo hoodies, camo pants, camo trees, camo bandanas, camo guns, camo yeehaw, camo confederate flags, camo sweatpants, camo swats, camo swastikas, camo... Welcome back to Toast Those Ghosts. Shut the lights off, let's begin this investigation. We're starting off our night with the infamous room 201. All right, here it is, room 201. This is the room they've been talking about. You ready? I'm ready. Dude, it's locked. It's supposed to be unlocked for the show. Anyway, let's, let's go on, man. We decided to go to the wrestling room. It smells bad, which often is a sign of high paranormal activity. In the wrestling room? I'm getting... Dude, are you, you all right, man? Turn it off the camera. Turn it off the camera. <laughs> Dude. Dude. As a psychic, Brandon is more okay. vulnerable to being overtaken by angered spirits. What was that about? I don't know. Let's get an EVP going, you know? Let's see if yeah. we can get some ghosts. You get it, you get all it. Right. Turn it on. Okay, I'll stand back. Is there any spirits here? If there are, say something. Say anything. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I don't like this. I don't oh. like this. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> go, 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 go! There is no doubt that Stillwater High School is haunted. 
The only thing more terrifying than the ghosts are the people that come to school here on a daily basis. Continue with Brandon and I next week as we investigate the Whole Foods Market in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Until next time on Toast Those Ghosts.